and had to had to create this next video because uh, I kind of alluded to it this morning, uh, where I did the video just after Powell talked, and I said, "Hey, China reacted. You know what might happen if uh, if we react? You know the punch, counter punch, all of that." Well, it looks like we um, we just went out and. We just, we just tried to throw a, uh, a knockout punch, if you will. And again, I go back to what I've said a couple of times. I don't know what winning feels like. I don't, I don't know what a touchdown or a three-pointer or however you want to, to say this is in a trade war. I don't, I, I don't know what winning looks like. But to call um, someone the enemy is, uh, is another level of negotiation tactic. And it's... You know, I, I don't pretend to play in this space. I don't tend to know anything about negotiating with a, a foreign entity. So, you know, don't know any of that. I'm a real estate investor. So when I see headlines like uh, bad sign for trade talks, um, you know, China labeled an enemy, all I can think about is the trade war is going to get worse. And then I go back to what Powell said this morning. Powell said in a couple of articles in his prepared remarks, there is no script on how the Fed should handle interest rates in a trade war. Well, I think a couple of things are certain now. Uh, I think the trade war gets worse. I don't know how you could call the other party an enemy without them reciprocating at some level. So I expect the trade war to get worse, where I thought just a minute ago things were getting better. Uh, I expect uh, more headlines. I expect the... Uh, I expect the yield curve to invert again if it hasn't already. Uh, I expect a lot of scared money um, to come in and, and make the 10-year cheaper than, than the short term. I expect a recession. I expect the Fed to lower rates. I go by what I said a couple weeks ago. I expect the Fed to lower rates by half a percent uh, at their next meeting. And I don't say that lightly, right? In, in my adult life, I think the Fed has lowered rates by a half a percent or greater, a half a dozen, maybe a dozen times, and only half a dozen times that I can remember. So for me to say that I think the Fed's going to lower rates by a half at the next meeting means I'm scared, means this is uncharted territory. And if you've read my book, One Rental at a Time, you know that I took a pause twice in my 15-year journey. I took a pause at the top when I saw affordability get just really crazy and the market started to roll over. And then at the bottom when the hedge funds came in and changed the landscape. Those are the only two times I've paused. This, this could be the third. I'm certainly going to be a lot more selective. And my pauses usually last six months because I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to figure out wh what to do next. So again, in these um, interesting times, uh, I expect the trade war to be get worse before it gets better. I expect the economy to get worse before it gets better. I expect interest rates to get cheaper before they go higher. I expect um, listings to go up. I expect price cuts to go up. I expect uh, I expect consumers to tighten. I expect earnings to be down, and you know, a lot of it has to go to the trade war, not necessarily the trade war specifically, but how it makes the consumers feel, right? Consumers are paying more for stuff. They're seeing negative headlines. They're seeing talk of inversion. They're seeing all these people on TV talk about scary times. And consumers are fickle creatures. We could easily keep our credit card in our pocket. And consumers can talk themselves into a recession. And I can only imagine the headlines that are going to go across the tape this weekend. And it could go one of two ways. It could come out sometime tomorrow or Sunday morning with some kind of, hey, I was misquoted or other, other nonsense and no, you're my best friend. right? It could go that way. Or we could see a reciprocation where the other side goes, yep, we're enemies. And uh, you know, let, let's act that way. And that would be very, very bad. For the economy, which would impact the stock market, which would impact real estate, which would impact all that other stuff. So uh, scary times. I am certainly going to be paying attention to what happens this weekend. Um, I was shocked 
by the headline that we are now calling China or at least their leader an enemy. Um, I think that's it. At, at best, a poor choice of words, if it was said, and um, probably not the greatest negotiation tactic. But again, I don't do this. I don't know anything about the diplomacy. I don't know anything about anything. I'm a real estate person trying to figure out what's going on with consumers, and I look to the market to see how the market impacts consumers. So with that said, very interesting times, and uh, I'm going to get the popcorn ready because this weekend could be pretty interesting. All right, everybody, have fun. Take care. Bye.